All right, everybody, welcome to 4 4 Work Together, our last unit in Chapter 4, where we will be doing our end of period work for our departmental uh, merchandising business. So we'll head into 4 4 Work Together, and we'll first off take a little look at the instructions. It says that we are going to need to use our adjusted trial balance um, from our Work Together 4 1. So I have that open um, over here with our answers and then um, oh, and so we are going to journalize the closing entries for Foley's so as a reminder we have um, our four closing entries we have our income statement credit accounts we have our income statement debit accounts and then we also have um, our retained earnings and our dividends so we're going to start off with our income statement credit accounts so I'm just going to go ahead and Put our information in here. I just need to make sure I grab the right dates. Let's go ahead and look at 4 1, December 31st. Okay. So December 31. And then we need to start finding our income statement credit account. So I'm almost wondering if it would be smarter for us to do this in a split screen to try to save ourselves some flipping back and forth here. So we're going to scroll down until we start to see our income statement accounts, and they start with our income summary. Um, so income summary, any of these that have credit accounts are what we're looking for here. So we have our income summary kitchen, and then sales, sales bath, purchases discount, purchase returns, purchases discount, purchase returns, and I think that that is it. So um, we're going to start over here. We'll just start with the one that starts um, our income statement and credit accounts, which is our income summary for our kitchen. And it gets a, oh, I better back up here. Remember that what we're doing is we're closing these out. So the fact that it has a credit um, means that we need to debit that account. So we're going to come over here. We're going to use a debit of 6194 and 62 cents and then our next one is our sales for kitchen why won't that work well isn't that weird that should be our next one let's see what else we have down here I don't know why that wouldn't go, but it is our sales in our kitchen. It's this guy right here, 417. So we're debiting that 417, uh, $953.07. Next up is our sales for our bath. So I'm just going to have to use this guy. I don't know why it doesn't want to let us type it in there, but it's all right. Sales for the bath, we're at 316000 $14.76. Next up is our purchases discount for the kitchen. I always want to double click my tab key there. That is for $2,505.71. And again, I'm just running down again my um, income statement count start on my income summary. So I'm just running down all the ones that have credit balances right now. And remember, we're debiting those because we're closing those out. So my next one is my purchase returns and allowances for the kitchen. And that's for $4,925.52. Next up is purchases discount for bath. $2,157.01. And next up is purchases, returns, and allowances for our bath. And that is for the $6,495.71. So those are the last of our income statement accounts with credit balances. You can see if we scroll all the way down, there aren't any more. So what we need to do now is we need to total up all of those, and that's going to be our credit amount. Notice that we do have an income summary just for general, and that's what we're going to use when we um, are closing out um, our account. So our last one here will be income summary and then general. 
and it is for the total of all of these accounts. And so that ends up being $756,246.40. So that's our first closing entry. Our second closing entry is going to be all of our income statement accounts with debit balances. So this is the one that gets really long because you can see we have income summary with math, all of these ones, and then all of our expenses. So we've got lots to type in here. Um, it just happens that that's the biggest one. Remember that um, since these all have debit balances, that means we're going to credit those. So the account that actually gets debited is that income summary, oops, income summary general. But we're not going to be able to put the total in here until we get all of our other ones in. So I'm just going to wait and come back to do that one. And I'm going to start with my first income summary account that has a debit balance, which is the bath one. So I'm going to start income summary for the bath. And that gets credited for $948.69. And again, that's because it has a debit balance right now. But to close it, we need to credit it. So then we start, and our next one was sales discount in the kitchen, kitchen, and that is a credit for six hundred and sixty-five dollars and twenty-seven cents. We have sales returns and allowances for the kitchen. That is seven thousand six hundred thirty-four dollars and seventy-seven cents. Again, I'm just pulling this right off of my adjusted trial balance. I'm just running down the list finding all of my accounts that have debit balances, and then we credit those to close them. So next up is sales discount for bath, which is for $4,220.29. Next up is sales returns and allowances for bath. And that is for, a whoops, got to get it in the credit column, $11,070.52. Purchases for the kitchen. And that is $204,164.91. Your biggest thing as you're going through and doing all of these is to make sure that you don't skip one because that would be a real pain if we missed one here as we're going down. So next up is purchases for the bath. And that is for $128,451.62. And then we start all of our advertising. So advertising expense for the kitchen is $11,900. Payroll taxes for the kitchen is $5,193.25. Salary expense for the kitchen is $59,121.95. And then we've got advertising expense for the bath. I'm going to go move mine up like this so I don't forget any. Because seriously, that's going to be the worst is if you forget one as we're going through here. So, uh, oops, advertising expense for the bath is $4,500. Payroll tax expense for the bath, $7,028.66. Um, salary expense for the bath is $81,103.91. And then we get into um, all of our indirect expenses. So credit card depreciation, um, insurance, etc. So our credit card expense is $4,502.93. Depreciation expense for office equipment is $7,250. Depreciation for store is $8,490. Insurance expense is $15,500. Miscellaneous expense is $2,813.28. Payroll taxes for admin is $6,149.34. Rent is $18,000. Oops. Salary expense for admin 
is $71,001.51. Supplies is $4,147.89. And uncollectible accounts is $2,023.85. Utilities. Six thousand four thirty five and seven cents, and then federal income tax, which is fourteen thousand seven forty nine and fifteen. So again, you should come out right before you start the next one. Um, I know that it's a lot. I know, I know, I know, I know this one is. Um, but they all are income statement accounts that have debit balances that we need to credit in order to close on. So the big thing at this point is once you have all those debits in, yes, you need to go back through and total all of those up. Um, go slow. Make sure you type them in correctly. And then come over here and we'll put our $693,056.86. I know I have a hard time saying numbers, so I apologize. $693,056.86. So that means that we have two more that we need to do. Um, our second to last one is our retained earnings, which is essentially our net income. So again, what we do is we put in the 31st, um, and we need to figure out whether we had a net income or a net loss. So we look here, um, our income statement credit columns um, minus our income statement debit columns. And when we do that, we end up getting... Just punching them in on my calculator here. Um, $63,189.14. So we do have a net income because our credit was bigger than our debit. So what gets debited is our income summary um, general. And what gets credited is our retained earnings. I don't know if I could just spell. And again, I found that number by taking the credit amount and subtracting the debit. And when I do that, I get a total of $63,189.14. Oops, I put that in the wrong spot there. 63,189.14 and 63,189.14. And then our last one, of course, that gets closed is dividends. So we just have to go back up and find our dividends. That was for 16,000. So remember that when we pay out dividends, our retained earnings goes down with a debit. So retained earnings gets debited for $16,000. And then because dividends has a debit, in order to close it, we have to credit it. So dividends is our credit account, and $16,000 goes here. So I'll just make this a little bit bigger again. And again, um, look at our four closing accounts. These were our income statement accounts with uh, credit balances. Our big one is our income statement accounts with debited or debit balances. And then we have our retained earnings, whether you had net income or net loss, and then our dividends. Just remember that on this one, if for some reason the debits were greater than the credits, then what would happen is retained earnings would be debited and income summary general would be credited. And that can happen. I am, I'm not sure what your application has you do, um, but just be prepared for that. So you can head over and do your 4-4 um, four, four on your own. It'll be quite similar. Um, just make sure that you're careful about when you're putting things in that you don't misalign or forget an account.